Okay, I have a 2004 Dodge Neon here, and I was doing the timing belt on this. It had broken, and this is pretty much the risk you run if you go over the 80 or 100,000 mile mark. And the bad thing about the the Neon, it's an interference, so it could mess your valves up. Now these have been um, checked out and appear to be okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put another timing belt on. Now also while you're at it, you're going to want to get you a new tensioner pulley and this uh, get, get another water pump because those will also lock up and you know the bearings will go out in those tensioners. And here's where your where your new new tensioner will go. Um, also this um, engine mount on this one was in really bad shape, just completely gone. And if you're having a lot of growling, rattling noise, then this could could be the culprit. Um, you know, these things aren't very expensive to replace. Um, the main uh, issue with getting into this is getting this piece right here off. And uh, you have to really jack this engine up quite a ways to be able to get access to those bolts. And this is kind of what all you know, you're going to have to remove uh, to get to this. And in order just to get access to your to your water pump, you're going to have to remove this back cover and everything, which means you'll have to get your cam sprocket and then the back cover. Um, like I said, an impact wrench will really help you out uh, as far as getting stuff apart. Um, but basically, on these, you know, the first thing you'll want to do is uh, get your get it up on some blocks or jack stand, and get your tire off, and you'll have this cover right here that that sets up right in here, and you'll want to remove that, and then you'll be able to see all this, and then you'll go ahead and get your engine supported, and then just go about removing your engine mount. This is the main engine mount right up in here and it's like covered by this cap and you'll take that off and there'll be a T55 and you go ahead and just get that one out remove your lower just kind of drop it down and then take this top one I've got laying right over here take that one loose and then you can just go about um, removing stuff out of your way this power steering pump has some bolts um, in the front that you have to get through. There's like three bolts here and then there's a couple in the back and you'll want to just get this thing completely loose and move it out of the way. Now another thing I do when I'm jacking this thing up there's the connector to the the air compressor and I'll go ahead and take that loose so I don't run a risk of uh, breaking that and a lot of times I'll go ahead and remove these clamps so just in case it snags on something, I'm not breaking anything, it'll have a little bit of movement. And also this, this AC line. Um, but the main, the main thing you'll have, uh, you'll have to go and rent you one of these Chrysler pullers if you don't have one. Uh, you can get them at AutoZone and you, you have these, these bars that go up in there so you can, you can pull that, um, pulley out of there. Now on this, with this particular one, I have to use a little little bit after I get it um, all broken loose to kind of pull it on off of there. Um, but you know, it's really not that difficult. Um, usually takes me a, a few hours you know, to get all this stuff loose and I've just, I've got my parts and everything so I'm going to go about uh, putting this back together and first thing that you'll want to do absolutely is put that engine mount in first while you've got everything out uh, just because there's just uh, so little room there it just makes it a lot easier to go ahead and put that in first and I'll kind of uh, do another video as I start putting this back together thanks